Good night, Mr. President. John F. Kennedy. Rudy Rush. Ladies and gentlemen. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary This is a speech from the last president. It is evidence that secret in society covered up disguise, disgust me. They lie in the media or the music. They know that we love it. The truth is untold. Men sold this soul for lust, hate, and vanity in scripted codes with no spoken words. The pressure the elite, few die when they speak. They say war and terror, like Moses and Pharaoh. You should let my people go. You could call me Steve, but my family matters. We work like slaves back to slavery days. We all in debt, from healthcare to warfare. Brainwash, fear from HIV to N1. There's a genie in the bottle, just make a wish. The devil you shall kiss. My life was written by God and not men. They high of the power, they sniffing that powder. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. there's a war going on outside, no one is safe from this street that is crooks done took, even the book for the knowledge you pay is okay. They're censoring the news, corrupting the music. True lies will be told, showed on your big screen. Young men with big dreams, people flooding the scene to protect their country. America is sold, it's a new world order to enforce their power. Office government checks, we high off the powder. A price shall be paid, decision must be made. Men sacrifice their wives and their daughter. The love of the power, a few white faces, material things. The truth must be told about Saddam and Gamaro. We'll never see tomorrow. These guns we don't borrow. The world should be thorough. Right from my pro tools and straight to the net. I bet. Into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. And so we end it. So My conversation was short. It was a good dream. It was like, I think in me having a conversation with one of the greatest presidents sacrifice himself to tell the truth to people that was listening. Still, we were overpowered by the elite. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. No president should fear public scrutiny of his program, for from that scrutiny comes understanding, and from that understanding comes support or opposition. Badis.com, www.badis.com.